ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Top Rope Reality. We are on episode Dirty 30, and, well, he might still be on vacation. That's kind of strange. He's not here. And uh, we're first going to start out with part one, as usual, indie news. We're going to be talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good of indie news is that we have some breaking news from Russell Cade. LAX, Hernandez and Homicide will reunite to battle the Bravado Brothers. There will also be a battle royal. Wait, 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 I did. Where Mike Hogan here, Justin Carter. Where we're back. Where, where have I been? Where been? I've been in the Sunshine State of Florida. And you, you look like ran from Florida into the room right now? I'm a little late. Okay. So, anyway, back to what we were talking about. What we're talking about. What we're up to. We are the good right now. The, the good, good of indie news. Of yes, indie, indie news. news is good. We have a lot of good indie news. Like I said, Russell Cade's breaking news. LAX taking on the Bravado Brothers. That will be they good. Reunite. That will be good. We have a battle royal for uh, Russell Cade, and the winner receives a future shot at the Russell Cade title. We've got people like Steve Carino. He won't win it. Sanjay Dutt. No. Shane Douglas. Ooh, maybe. Colt Cabana. Ooh. The BWO. Vader, who's lost about 45 pounds. That's pretty good. Lodi. The Patriot. Sabu. Rick Steiner. The Maestro from WCW. C.W. Anderson, and Maestro is a former NBA champion, so there you go. And C.W. Anderson, all those, and probably more, of course, going to be in that battle royal. And then, huge news, the Gigolo! The Gigolo's coming! <laughs> maybe that other company, that other job is not working out too well for him. Maybe not. Buff the Stuff Buff Bagwell! the Stuff! He will be at the Russell Cade Fan Fest, and we, uh, we've got a huge match as we were right about to start the show, I was looking on here and I found a huge match that just announced for WrestleCade. Matt Hardy is going to take on formerly known as Drew McIntyre, now Drew Galloway. Matt Hardy and Drew Galloway. What a match that's going to be for WrestleCade. Yes, now, and what about Fan? Fan Fest is having uh, so far seven huge seven matches. Huge match. We already know that we're also going to have Awesome Kong taking on Lady, Lady Tapa. Tapa. We yes. announced that last week. And then they've got seven huge matches. Team Fearless taking on First Generation. And whatever weird name that guy is, <laughs> Demozo or something. Demozo, yeah, let's say Demozo. Taking on Mr. 450. And then the man, he's getting his title shot. If he shows up, according to him, yes. he won't show up. He might not know where North Carolina is. A triple threat match for the AIWF Championship. Justin Flash will defend it against the man getting his his uh, rematch clause in there, Justin Overstreet, and King Shane Williams. Plus Rob McBride and Kevin Phoenix versus Baron Bullard, Zane Dawson, David Finley, not Fit Finley, taking on No, Bo not Fit Finley. And then Biggie Schmo taking on the worst case scenario. That is a tag team that match. That should be a big, a big tag team match there. The first annual George South Invitational Fan Fest Battle Royal. That is a handful to say. My gosh. That is a handful of things. The winner is going to be moving on to the big battle royal. You win a battle royal to go to the battle royal. But, you, but if you win the big battle royal, you're going to share the title next year. Sure. It'll be on the, uh, you go to the big battle royal on the main stage later in the day, and just a few names that we know about that are going to be in it are, is our boy, yeah, yeah, Zane Stevens. Yeah, that guy. Not, not, these not the ladies. The guy. Zane Stevens, Cameron Cade, who will be seen November the 2nd. Yep. And then Jackson James, who we got to see in action at the Brad Armstrong Memorial Show. That is a lot of big stuff going on for WrestleCade. We also have New Height Wrestling, their fall frenzy. The new tag team champions, the Sideshow Syndicate, will be there to defend their belts. And yes. making his big debut. This dude, if you hadn't seen his picture, this dude's big. He's a beast. And I compared to the other big dude. He's yeah. big. Jile Cole, I'm assuming. Jile Cole, yes. The Pride Championship. I got it right there. Zane Stevens. Put his title on the line. In a flag match going against Victor Romana. Oh. The winner of this also. He's also Zane the Indy Tournament champion. 
Yes. Now they're wrong. No. <laughs> also, major talent sign, former TNA star Dab Savage. Who is that? I don't know. That's what they said. I'll have to look they into showed that. him in the TNA ring. We'll have to look into that Dab Savage. But we'll to see who Dab Savage really is, because when he was in says, TNA, and he's going to appear. So a, a new Dab Savage and Jael Cole. Wow. And of course, Tweedledee, who is part of the Sideshow Syndicate, will be there. And in the main event, Mr. Handle That Mike Faison will accept the challenge of the newcomer, the smug dealer of doom, the guy who was born into a life of instant privilege, the Rainmaker. Ryan, Ocean, <laughs> in a casket match is what yes. it's looking like. Now that and the, but the championship will be on the line. It will be on the line. But before we get, well, do we have bad news yet? No, okay, we have one more good news. That's still good news here. CSW's Bowling Point, October the 25th, final event of 2014. The CSW Championship will be on the line with Lucha LaCour, the new champion, taking on Brian Cage. Before we get to bad news. But, could could Cage take the title off Lucha? Could this be Lucha's it. first and only title defense? It could be. But before we get to the bad news, we do want to talk about some good indie news for one of the ladies right here. Both ladies were in this, but one of them won. It is the first annual ECWA, East Coast Wrestling Association Super 8 Chick Fight. And it was Saturday, October the 11th. That was yesterday, according to uh, yes. when we were filming this. The winner and also the new ECWA Women's Champion, Tessa Blanchard. So, we want to say congratulations to her on winning that championship. Also, the RFvideo.com pick of the week is the new Ricardo Rodriguez shoot interview. Keep your picks out of that way, please. Give me the pick. No, You'll be all right. Pick of the week. You'll be all right. Shoot interview where he, spin in my where he discusses the highs and lows of working for the WWE and his experiences in NXT and working as El Loco. All this and more for only $15. Not bad. Also, a few Still names. waiting for my air conditioner to come in the mail, though. I uh, hear you. You ordered that already? Yes. Very nice. Also, we want to talk about some names that are going to be at Wrestle K. Ted DiBiase. Woohoo! Cowboy. Oh, man. Is that. They didn't say Junior Daddy? or Senior. I'm so, I think well, I senior. saw a picture of Daddy. Then so. it's going to be Senior. Cowboy. Ron Bass. LAX, we already know is going to be there. Yes. Brutus Beefcake. Carlito, we already know Sanjay Dutt's going to be there. Yeah, that's right, cutting the hair. The Rock and Roll Expe Rock Express, the who will be there to uh, do the roast with uh, Jim Cornette the night before this. The Boogie Woogie Man. There's probably be a lot of people do a roast on Jim Cornette. There you go. Don and Rocky Canoodle. That's it? Yes. <laughs> Masked Superstar Referee Tommy Young. Who ain't young no more. Sorry, no. Tommy. Ivan Koloff. Who ain't young either. Guido and Big Vito, formerly known as the Full Blooded Italian. FBI! And, of course, the man getting the roast done to him the day before on Friday the 28th. Jim Cornette. And finally, I'm see Tanny had him. Had him. That's right. Him. That's right. And finally, House of Hardcore 7, November the 15th, in the former ECW Arena in Philadelphia, PA. You'll be all right. <laughs> this will be Beulah McGillicuddy's final wrestling appearance. What? Beulah? Her last match? No, Ever? She, not wrestling. Oh, she. I she know. She, a she might she get fight. She'll beat up uh, Tommy Dreamer's opponent, that's for sure. She'll beat up anybody. In the weeks leading to this show, they've already announced some stuff, and we'll go over that starting next week. We're going to start going over that. We'll go over the names that are going to be there and the matches going on. But the big news is this will be, after seven huge events, this is going to be House of Hardcore's first ever live IPPV. Wow. That is big news. A lot of things happening for House of Hardcore. Very yeah, exciting. make it a TV deal, because I know one's fixed, probably fixing to lose a TV deal. That's so. right. And, of course, we want to talk about the bad. Unless they go to Japan. Mm -hmm. There you go. The bad. There was a wrestling reality show on AMC. Had it all done. Feminine episodes. Same. From the Smashing, it was brought out by the Smashing Pumpkins frontman, Billy Krogan. So what? Uh, AMC said, no, we don't want it no more. It's a Chicago-based promotion called Resistance Pro. Right. Yes. They don't worry anymore. So now they're shopping around. So maybe it will show up on air somewhere. I mean, I hope somebody picks it up. I mean, Total Divas does well, so maybe they'll pick up some more of this. Total Divas got WWE behind them. I understand that. But it is a wrestling reality show, so maybe this wrestling reality show will get picked up by somebody. How about the WWE Network for only $9.99? That's yes. right. 
So that'll be very interesting to hope. I mean, even it says they're letting them shop it around to either even That's streaming fair. services. Streaming services. Netflix could pick it up. Netflix Hulu could pick things. it up. Stuff like that could pick it up. Netflix is doing a lot of things. And Hulu and, and Amazon Prime. There you go. I mean, there's a lot of places out there for oh, you. Yeah. I pay per view. I you exactly. Know, it's not stuff. just all about traditional TV anymore. Not anymore. Because people who watches it, you can see the ratings of people that watch it. Exactly. They DVR. They do this. They do that. So it's out there. Yep. There's so, opportunities out there. Yeah. That's for sure. So I want you to start an uh, internet wrestling channel. There you go. Yeah. I mean, there you go. So if you're listening out there and you got the money for it, start an internet wrestling channel for five ninety nine. There you go. Beat the competition and get all the footage that WWE do on. There you go. We got some in Alabama, Continental. Yeah. Come get the guy and pay for it. Can get Memphis and Jerry Lawler works for the company for there you go. We also want to talk about the The ugly. ugly. This will never work. If this was on any other network but El Ray, it wouldn't even make it. Your favorite, your new favorite, the Lucha Underground, which is going to be head up by Alberto Del Rio or whatever its name is now. El Patron. So, uh, yeah, he'll be the big dog. Of course. For, uh, and then when Ray comes in there, they'll continue their feud. <laughs> yeah. Why? And then Ricardo They better get there. one match out of him because he'll be injured and he won't be around. That's right. Well, they're going to come up with an intergender division. Yep. Guys versus girls. Yay! I mean, isn't that considered, like, abuse? Not when the girls win. I mean, but I mean, back in the day, I could see this working. Like, bu- I mean, like Bully Ray back in the day put women through tables. I back mean, in the yeah. day, he did it. To, ago. Well, he did it to Dixie. That's a little bit different, okay. <laughs> but like on on major television shows that ha- like WWE that has a big time sponsors, that wouldn't fly anymore. Well, this is the L Ray Network, so exactly. So, I don't think they have any problem with it. They're athletes. They'll be all right. They but, should be. But they're talking about. But I don't, been against the women, I don't like it. And even talking about introducing an intergender championship, which might make its debut in season two. This sounds like that other show from MTV all over again. There you go. No, they had some sorry. crazy stuff on that one. I am sorry, but I don't see it working unless they, I mean, if the Mexicans watch it, I guess so. I mean, we've seen some, we, we've been researching some more bad backyard wrestling. We've been watching these some of these backyard wrestling with some of these Mexican people on it. Nothing against them at all. But they are bloodthirsty, buddy. They are. They might be into this men versus women thing. They are bloodthirsty people. But you only you gotta have Comcast, I think it is. Comcast has to be bloodthirsty. Is the only too. one that keeps keep, keep, uh, shows the L Ray network. So exactly. if you don't have Comcast, I guess you're just out of luck. That's right. So. Well, that is it, unless you have some more bad or ugly or good I news. I don't have any more of any of those type things. Well, that is it for part one, folks, of the episode Dirty 30. Dirty 30. Enjoy some of these great pictures we found on the internet. He found on the internet. This guy. Videos, I mean, he tried to get the videos, he's just underage. Yeah. So. Why the underage? <sighs> but, uh, yeah, so we'll be Ridiculous. right back for... Uh, Part two, we do a little WD and TNA news. With the good, the bad. Oh, There's a, there a lot of ugly. But both. Mainly TNA. No, with both. I'm sorry. WD has fallen into the ugly category. Here. Uh-oh. So uh, we'll be right back for part two of Top of Rally right here on YouTube.